Hi everyone, um, I'm going to try a quick re-record or redo of the tutorial I did the other day which was exporting from um, Unreal Engine and bringing it to Blender, doing a small modification, probably just the skinning this time, um, and then re-importing it back in, into Unreal. So, um, again using the Polygon uh, Fantasy Pack. Um, so this is my Cinti Studios, it's got yeah, a few different characters here. I made this bard last time, but I'm going to try something a little bit different today. Uh, who have we got that's decent to work with? The witch looks like she's not textured. Okay, I've done the witch before. Might just, you know, let's do the queen. And so this is the queen at the moment. You can see she's pretty, you know, normal looking. So I kind of got the bones showing at the moment. I'm just like, no, maybe that'll do. So I'll just show this with the wireframe. We can see she's looks like her head is not joined. It's really hard to say though until I actually bring it into Blender. Um, so let's start. And first up, I'll show the same thing I did the other time, which was if you do an export. So right click, asset extensions, export. I'm going to send it to a special spot, which is going to be my Adam folder. This is, this is called a princess, why not? Okay, so these are the options I've got. FPX export 2013, vertex color, level of detail collision, basically everything ticked. Um, first part I want to show though is, got my other folder over here. Uh, if I bring her straight back in at this princess, you'll see something very interesting. So I'm keeping the same skeleton, I'm making sure that all these other options are there. You can see the import meshes and bones is not set, uh, either in the hierarchies, I think it's hierarchy, I'm not sure, um, and or in this one. It's the same option from the looks of it, the name the same. Um, I import that, and you can see, okay, so two things, it's brought in the texture which I don't really need, I don't really need that one because otherwise oh, she's going to look funny. I don't need the animation, don't, which is part of the ref part, so if I do the import again, you'll see what I mean by that. So if I try a different, see, this is a different model, but see this there, I think that, or it could just be the ticking of import animations, which I don't care about at the moment. But what I want to show, so first up, I'm going to open this one up. I might see it, but you probably can't just yet. Um, so we want and to see characters one. She looks the same, but when you get close, you can see that she's actually been curved a bit. That's because um, by default, when you export from Unreal, it will have that. All the surfaces will be set to smooth, so we can work with that. And I'm going to jump over to Blender. So here we go. So we're in a brand new, I'll just do a new again. Delete the default cube. Um, we're going to go to the import menu, go to FBX, find our new character, this princess. I'm going to save the blend file first. That's uh, what we call her again. Princess. So we're going to save, go back and save. Right, cool. So she's in here, and we do also want to make sure we get the actual texture so we can actually see what it looks like. So with the textures folder, just take the first one, that's fine. Export, same place. I've already got it there, but why not send it again? Okay, over to Blender, and first up, what I want to do is split the screen. So right click, split area. Change the second one to a UV editor. I'm going to change it to UV edit mode. I'm going to hit open. I'm going to open the file, that, the TGA that we exported. And if I go over here, you can see she's still purple. So, we've got a few things to do first. We've got to change this. So, we go to materials, go down to base color, choose image. 
Edge Texture. And because we've already opened it, you should be able to just select that there. And there she is. You notice here, she's not smooth. But that's just Blender being nice for us. What we're going to do is hit Tab, go into your face edit mode, select all, which we already are. Okay, go W, shade flat. You can see there's an imperceptible change there, but it's definitely a change. Anyway, that's that's all we need to do there. Now, what I'm going to do as well, while we're here, let's take away her crown. So I'm going to speak really quick about it, because I want to make this a quick video. Let's hit is. Oh, and her head. Okay, we're not going to bother with that. We're just going to draw a recolor. So, some of, the, some of the models that they have for these Cinti Studios ones will actually have the head intact underneath, and some do not. So, this one does not. We could change it, but as I said, quick video, and I don't want to bother with that right now. If you are adding new geometry though, um, you probably always want to make sure that all of your faces or vertices rather are mapped to a bone group. So that's going to be the object data, these vertex groups here. And they correlate to this color and that's behind the scenes. Right, so what we'll do instead, we'll just go straight with the recolor. Make sure we're in the same mode. If I press A, you can see here, all these little dots that show up, that show you what's selected. You can actually go here, drag that around, move it around, and then you've just changed the color. But that's that's a terrible way to do it. We don't want to do it that way. If you click instead, this keep your in edit mode in sync, you get the dots all the time, and you can just start moving things around. So generally speaking, if you're doing these particular models, this area is where you want to play. These are going to stay the same color across different versions. So, and you can still use that to work out where things are. So here we go. You know what? Let's go with gold. Move that. Red. Really just now purples, obviously. Color that you want to keep in mind. I'm not really doing much though as far as trying to make this neat. Yeah, no, that's terrible. Not actually concerned with making it look good, I'm just really showing what the whole thing is. Where's that one? Okay, that's down there, so that's the hair there. You can press S to shrink them so that way all the dots line up. So it's a, it's a different sort of way to do it in that all the faces are just together as a dot. It's kind of smart. I don't mind it. Oh, it's such an interesting one. That looks like a dot there, but it's not. It's just a little bit. Red. Red. We've got too much red, so let's move this one to Um, let's move this back to a yellow. That's interesting. Don't know that's, oh, that's our eyebrows, right? So we need to keep that consistent. So I think this one will move back to a color. That's a bit different. Anyway, you get the idea. So before we can export this, we need to do something with our objects. So go back to object mode. That's just. I like to do. Uh, root we can keep as root, it doesn't really matter because of the way that it's nested. Um, this first female queen we want to rename that to armature. The second one we want to rename to SK let's call it Princess. Make sure we got that right. Okay, that's good, we're good to go. So she's a little bit different, not too much different to be honest. Um, where can they then go? Make sure we've got her selected. Shift click on the root, shift click on armature, go to file, export, FPX. Now we can send it to the same spot, but what we want to make sure is we've got our, our selected objects in main. We've got geometry, we need to change the smoothness.
something to face, otherwise it won't work right. Um, and we want to change armatures to remove the leaf bones, or to not add leaf bones. Um, I won't explain what that is, but that's just something you want to do. Right, so that's covered, that's exported. If I pull this in now, so I'll go back to the same folder we were in. What we can actually do instead is just hit re-import, and then suddenly there she is. That's it, that's done. Um, from here you could actually modify the characters if you wanted to. Um, some characters I have modified before and some I've just more or less made a brand new character by merging bits from two different ones. So that's something that's available to you that you could do um, if you are so inclined. Uh, I'll quickly just find one of those so I can bring it in and show you what that might look like. So This one, import, keep on the same skeleton, should be fine, hopefully. Um, I do need to stop bringing in all the textures with it though, but that's okay, I can quickly just put the handle. So this one is actually a modification of the rogue, and the head is taken from the Vikings pack, which has a shield maiden who is not in this current project. But that's the sort of thing you could do. And then there it becomes a brand new character and you can use that as you need to. Anyway, hope this is A, helpful and B, a lot more legible than the last one. Thank you.